papers. And if you're wondering, what do we know now? Well, since that paper in Nature, we and, and many of my colleagues now, there are whole conferences on this uh, age reversal technology. Um, I was just in Barcelona with uh, probably a few hundred scientists doing this. Um, so I know the, the latest is age reversal in the brain. We've done this in my lab and others have done it. We can uh, cure Alzheimer's in, or at least reverse large aspects of Alzheimer's in a mouse now. Uh, hopefully reversing the age of the human brain will have the same effect, which means that memories will come back, ability to learn will come back. That's what we're hoping. Uh, we're working, we've shown that we can reverse aging in, in kidneys and liver and uh, what else are we doing? Um, peripheral nerves, we're looking at whether we can treat and cure ALS, which is something that um, Serena, my partner, has in her family. Um, and so what this, and the skin we've done as well, we're looking at reversing hearing loss. We've got some early results there. So what am I trying to say? I'm saying that the eye is, is just the beginning. Uh, how far are we on the glaucoma studies? Um, and I think everyone knows glaucoma. Those of you who, who don't, um, pressure in the eye leads to slow loss of blindness. There's very little you can do except reduce the pressure, but not all glaucoma responds and not all glaucoma is caused by pressure. And right now there's nothing I know that reverses the disease, only slows it down. But we're talking about potentially a cure. Uh, and so where are we at? Well, in, we showed that we could cure glaucoma within six weeks in mice back in 2020. Uh, we showed it with Bruce Cassandra's collaboration um, and reported it last year that we could do it in monkeys. Which is amazing. I'm happy about that result. Uh, and where we're at now is the company that is running this, Life Biosciences, which came out of my lab. Um, I'll just remember what I can say and what is confidential. I can tell you that the drug substance is now manufactured. It's ready to be put into humans. We've had discussions with the FDA about whether they like our approach. Um, I was very happy that they were very positive about our approach, and they even gave really great suggestions. I kid you not, they actually have saved us a lot of time and money by insights into how to conduct the trial cleverly. And so really what you're asking is, when will this be ready? The first human, if all goes well, will be dosed um, sometime next year. And we'll know pretty soon if it works, right? We'll just wait six weeks and do an eye test, I think we'll know. And uh, so by the end of next year, I will very likely be able to tell you if it works. Now there's a, a second phase of all drugs where you go through a, a much larger group. We'll probably go from uh, what's called from a phase, early phase two to a phase three before it gets on the market. Um, and so that's still a couple of years. So we, you know, within four to five years, I wish it was faster, but that's really the realistic time frame given the constraints we have in this country about drug development.